Hello! Today I want to talk about creating a transparent text box in your OBS classroom. So one of the things I love most about ManyCam and SparkleCam is how easy it is to type uh, text into the text box feature that both of those programs have. Now unfortunately on OBS I was not able to find a really good uh, text uh, feature that acted in the same way as it does in SparkleCam and on ManyCam. So I learned how to recreate it here. Now my husband had a great idea that you can basically chroma out anything. So why not the text box? So I'm going to show you how I have done this. And now it works the same way as the text box in the other programs. So I see a cat. I see a dog. Let's see. Hi. I went to school today. So I use this feature all the time in my classroom and it's really nice. Now you can decide if you don't like the transparent uh, aspect of it, you can always just pick a solid color. So let's try, oh, red. Okay, we could do red or yellow. Oh, that doesn't work as well. Well, it would work fine if your chroma feature is not turned on. So you can use whatever color that you want. I currently have the chroma feature turned on, so that's why um, the yellow didn't work so hot. Okay. And so you can create your own, your own text box that is not transparent. Okay. And so it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do both options right now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene for the ease of explaining this process. So, First of all, here, over here in the Google Slides area, I decided to use a Google Slide. You can do um, Windows, uh, Word. You can use the Google uh, Word document as well. The, I think Google Slides is easier just because it's easier to do uh, the you know colors on it. So I chose Google Slides to do this, and I chose this like avocado green color. I tried the brighter green. It actually didn't work quite as well. I don't know why. This color must match my green screen better. Um, so, and I also chose Comforta font because I like how it does the A. This is more of a similar to how we write the letter A. And so I like it. But ultimately, you can pick whichever font, whichever color, however you want to do it. Okay, next we're going to go over to sources. I'm going to click plus and I want to do a display capture. Okay, and I'm going to do text tutorial. Okay, okay, click okay. And now, whoa, we don't want all of that to show, of course, in class. So the way that we get around doing that is we hit Alt, the Alt key on your, your um, keyboard and select the little square and then you're going to move it down. So I'm just going to try to capture this area over here, my, my text box. And I'm going to get closer, select. And I like to have my text box larger just for those classes that sometimes we are we start talking about, you know, complex sentences and there's quite a bit to type. So I, I want to have it to where I can have a larger space. Okay, I want to make sure, still a little bit up here, I'm going to bring that down a little just by clicking Alt and then clicking on it and then pulling it down. Now, if I want to stretch this box, I click Shift instead of Alt. So in order to stretch, Shift. Okay, and that will stretch the box. Okay, so there we go. We just stretch the box how we want it. And now I want to chroma out the green. So I'm going to go ahead and write. I'm going to go to filters, hit the plus box, and then we're going to select chroma key. Okay, click okay. You can rename it if you want. 
All right, don't worry. The reason why it's showing up black is because I have a black background and I have black font here. Uh, I typically don't have any, I don't use a black background for my class, so it's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to copy this text box and I'm going to put it in the slides that I want to put it in. Okay, so let's, all right, so we'll say that this is my classroom and I just want to, oh, I want to add that text box. I'm going to go ahead and paste. And there it is. The text box is in uh, this source. Okay, so hmm, maybe I want to do it in another. Maybe I have Google Slides and all I have to do is um, just click right click and paste and there we go. And now when you modify them, um, they will all be modified. So I guess you could create, if you want it, you could create separate text box for separate classes if you wanted to do that. So um, let's see. <laughs> so this basically shows you how to create a text box and how to create a transparent text box, which is what I use in my classroom. So I hope this tutorial helped. It's actually very simple. And I also showed you how to resize your display capture. And I showed you how to chroma out your green feature. And you can also use a solid background for your text box as well if you prefer. So let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe to my channel because I love to produce these tutorial videos and I'd love to know if you have any questions about anything specific. I'm really liking OBS a lot. I have managed to figure out ways to do all the things that I love in it and that display capture feature allows me to um, do all sorts of fun things in class very simply. So let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your feedback. Happy teaching. Goodbye.